Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about room resolution. You know, we get a lot of uh, comments and, you know, emails and stuff about resolution. What, you know, what does the term resolution mean? Well, obviously to resolve, to be able to hear everything. So we want to hear all the fundamentals and the harmonics that are in our music. And we need to do that for a couple reasons. One, I think we have an obligation to the artists and the engineers who put so much time and effort uh, into a, a song. I've, since I've uh, been uh, in the professional market for the last year and a half or so, I, I see what these engineers and artists go through to create a song. And then I hear that song being played in a car or someplace like that, and half the content, well, that could be an exaggeration, but a lot of the content is simply not audible because of room size, volume, shape, speakers, amplifiers, all kinds of issues involved in the production chain and the communication chain to, uh, before it even gets to our ears. So, you know, I think we have an obligation to, to hear everything that's been put into that uh, album or CD. And why? Because, you know, why is the artist uh, doing a song? Well, they're writing and singing about their emotions. So we, we want to connect to those emotions. And I think if you look at the artists that you work with or that you like and you hear a lot about, you you get that emotional connection to, to their music. So And it's particularly strong in the 125 to 800 cycle range where vocals are. So you you want to make sure that you've got great definition and resolution for the vocals. How do we get that? Well, first thing we have to do is uh, control the attack and the decay rates for both low, middle, and high frequencies because you don't want one frequency group overlapping another frequency group. You want definition, separation, you want everything to be heard. So attack and decay rates are really, really critical in your room. And that's why I created that carbon technology, because I've never been in a room where the low end and the mids and the highs are all balanced out, unless it's a good sized room. So the carbon technology helps you uh, do that and get a nice balance between the low mids and the highs. Now, how do we l listen to uh, the energy that comes from a song? Well, we have a coexistence that must occur between the low, middle, and high frequencies. The low provides the foundation. It must have the same attack and decay rates, or even better attack and decay rates, than the mids and the highs. So you, you have to get a balance there. there there's a balance that must, that must go on. So I liken um, attack and decay rates and, and this coexistence, this balance, is a wave of water. And, the wave has a peak, and then it washes down, and you have all this white water. So the wave is the low frequency, and the white water is the mids and the highs. So everything rides upon the lows and washes and cycles. So you must have a coexistence of all those, and you have to be able to hear that. You have to be able to sense that, and, and that's what all of these variables here come into play, the connection, the respect for the artist, and, and things like that. So... We have to have this coexistence, this balance between all these three types of energy. And it's almost like three people in a marriage, which is almost impossible. Two people in a marriage is almost impossible statistically. So we have this situation where we have to balance it out. And it takes special approaches. It takes special technology. And it, it takes a special concern and dedication to that process. Okay. How do we test for that? What we do in our studios, people ask us all the time, we use mono recordings, especially a voice. We have, <laughs> we have this thing in the studio that we do. For male voice, we say, oh, is there, how good is the resolution? Can we hear what he had for breakfast? That's kind of the joke we have uh, in the studio. And then with the female, obviously, since we're all men, we, we want to know what she's wearing. So a little bit sexist, but it, it goes to the, this emotional connection, it goes to the resolution, it goes to definition, it goes to all of these areas. And then we do something kind of uh, special in our studio. Our studio is such high resolution and such uh, the ability to hear everything that 
If you cross your legs at the listening position, you'll hear a difference, okay? You'll hear that right or left leg higher than the other one, you'll hear that. I mean, that's the type of resolution we have in your studio. So try it in your room. If you don't hear any difference when you cross your leg and you're listening to music, you probably don't have as high a resolution in your room as we do. And maybe that's okay for you, but not for us. We, we want to be able to hear everything. Obviously, that's our business. So I hope this helps. Room resolution, the ability to hear everything, both the fundamentals and the harmonics. So we get the respect to the artists and the emotional connection to them. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed our videos today. And if you did, we really would appreciate a thumbs up from you. If you have any questions or comments, you can go to the comment section or you can go to our website, AcousticFields.com and fill out the contact form. Subscribe to our channel, our YouTube channel. We're now doing two videos a week. If you have some ideas for topics, you can uh, submit those to us also. If you're having room issues, we have that free room analysis. You can click on the button below and we'll compare your room to our database of 120 built rooms that uh, we built and actually measured. And I guarantee you, your room is in that database. So just click on the button below for the free room analysis. Thank you.